who wants to make a create mod skeleton farm. Welcome to the dad's guide to Minecraft overstressed SMP. You heard me right people. We are going to make a skeleton farm using the create mod and uh, it is going to be fabulous. So if that sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Okay, so Jelami Spawner, uh, how about some uh, ancient debris? Sure. Because because I, I know you ten. have a couple. Ten. 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 We'll make it make it f like a how about twelve? So it's like three pieces. Eleven. <laughs> I can't do anything with eleven. Yes, you can. Oh, what? You you can make a wall. <laughs> a nice wallpaper wall. You know, nice wallpaper, that uh, English. N n anyway, d d I need zombie spawners. Okay, 12. 12. Uh, sure, okay. whatever. Okay, yeah, down here. No, that's skeleton. I need zombie spawner. Oh, that's skeleton? Yeah. You just tried to scam me. <laughs> <laughs> you just tried... No, I'm not doing no. any trades no, with no, you no. anymore. Somebody, no, no, no. Somebody changed that. Somebody changed that. No. Oh, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. I swear, I really did think it was because this was this room was filled with zombies. That's why. Ah, so no, no zombie spawner. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I I need a few more zombie spawners. I mean, I want a few more zombie spawners because I want to make a reactor copper farm. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah. No. Um. You know what? I plan on going mining because I need tons of stuff, so, um, if I find one, I'll let you know. Yeah, sure, thank you, thank you. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, now that we have discovered that we actually have a skeleton farm underneath our base and not a zombie farm like I thought, uh, I want to do something with that. I want to do something with that, because I love skeleton farms, but, um, let's try to make it a create mod skeleton farm, not, not a farm like you have normally see in a vanilla Minecraft. Great mod. So for that, we're going to need some conveyor belts. And I don't know if this will work. I'm going to try it out. So uh, for conveyor belts, you need kelp. And uh, kelp is easy to find if you have water nearby, like an ocean. So let's go ahead and cook these on our little smoker here. And um, I have a bunch that we're going to do here. So I'm going to get that going, and uh, then we'll cut back. Okay, and here we are down in the <laughs> Skelly Farm. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> who knew it was a skelly farm? My favorite type of farm. Okay, so here's what we did so far. Uh, let me uh, spin a camera around here real quick. Whoop. Um, we have a redstone lanterns in the ceiling up here that hopefully will be enough to deactivate this spawner. I may need to put another one right here with um, maybe a wall or something on top of this uh, just so we get some light more coverage maybe i don't know but anyhow i would normally if this was in vanilla minecraft i would go ahead and put a water stream in the corners and push everything this direction and shoot them up and drop them down and you know you know you know you've seen that before but since we're using the create mod i thought we could try some really cool stuff so what i think we're gonna do is and this is in theory in theory, I don't know if this will work. I haven't tested this out in a um, any kind of um, test world or anything like that. But I think if we have mechanical belts on either side and the, the whole floor covered with mechanical belts and they're all turning and pushing everything that falls down into this little pit down here. And then we have a mechanical belt that goes this direction. And then another mechanical belt that goes up here like this. And... We can go up here real quick and I'll show you. Then when the skeleton gets to the very top here, this will be one block higher. Right here, we'll take our learnings from um, the, the bulk blaster or the bulk smelter. And we're going to put lava with a fan blowing this direction. So they get hit with stuff before they drop down here and they take damage. Now, I don't know how much damage that's going to be. I have no idea. So we're going to try this out. So let's go ahead and make some of the uh, stuff that we'll need for the rest of this build. I, I got some stuff here already. I thought we'd power the whole thing with a windmill, by the way. Uh, so I went ahead and made a windmill bearing and um, uh, you just sails and stuff like that. You don't actually need the, the cloth in the middle. Just the sail frame will work. 
So I think we could just throw those up there if we want to. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll make some mechanical belts. I'm gonna drop this uh, extra stuff in here real quick. So the way you make mechanical belts is it's it's almost like you're making a wall of kelp, <laughs> if that makes sense. So basically it's three and three like this, and that gives you a mechanical belt. And we're gonna need a ton of these things. I don't know how many, but um, you know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna do, um, a two full stacks. Yeah, we'll do two full stacks like that. Okay. That gives us 32. Uh, I don't think 32 is going to be enough. So let's go ahead and make some more. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you'll do one more stack here. So we'll do uh, three like that. And three like that. Okay. There we go. 53. All right. Well, we'll try that out. Now, I think if we lay the mechanical belts down first, first and then we connect everything up i think we'll be in good shape so we're gonna put uh shafts coming this direction just like this and i'll leave that open for now i think yeah then we're gonna have shafts coming this direction and we'll give it a, we'll give it a test and see if this um will actually connect so now what you do is you select the uh, mechanical belts and when you click on one and then you bring it over to the other one like that, it connects them. So we'll just keep on doing that over and over again. And you know it works when it turns green. So yeah, I might, I might actually have to go get more kelp. I didn't realize it was going to take so much, but I, I also didn't think too hard on what I was going to do. So... These, as long as we're making them spin in the right direction, should push everything down in here. All right. Um, and let's see. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take this one out for just right now. Uh, so I can continue this uh, shaft coming this direction like that. No, we'll go one more right there. Okay. And that way we can get this all work in the right direction. All right. And let's do the other side as well. And these are essentially the same things as just conveyor belts. So all they're doing is they're just spinning the direction that we have the, the torque turning. And uh, that'll bring it here. So now we can go ahead and do the one down below as well. You know what? I think, should, should we close these up now? Yeah, I think we should close these up. We'll do that. We'll do this over here like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then we'll come down here and we're going to put a, where do I want that? What? Am I actually, yeah, I think back here. Oh, this actually makes sense having it one back behind here. Let's go ahead and do this. I can get at the right angle. There we go. Then we'll close this back up again. And then the other one is going to come and I made a hole for it already right here. And this will meet up with uh, the way that we're powering it. Put a shaft eventually in the right way here. There we go. All right. You know what? I think I actually need to do, because I, I can't double this up, I don't think. So I think I need to actually have another one right here. So is this one will be the one that goes up here. So we'll do this. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and connect this one with belts. There we go. And then we're going to connect this one as well going up here. And I actually have to take the torches out first. Uh, otherwise I can't put it down like that connect this down here like this perfect all right come up here get blasted and then drop down here into the kill chamber and i just want to make sure i do some damage first and these right here these are a part of the 117 uh mod pack that we have um this this is the uh tinted glass so I went ahead and since I have plenty of crystals growing in there, I went ahead and made it a whole bunch of this so we can see through here, but no light comes through. So, 
All right, now that we have this done, I think we put, um, I think we might want to put a block down. I actually prefer having a white there. I think that'll work, yeah. Just to keep it nice and clean, all right? Now you want these spinning in the same direction, and I think I can connect both of these with a belt as well. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead down here. That is all good. Um, I'm just gonna have to get in there and take the torches out at some point, so. I think I'll run around and do that once we test this out and make sure everything's spinning in the right direction. So, we have this little guy right here, uh, which is a sh we'll bring the shaft out this direction, like this, and we'll meet it up here, one more, there. And then we'll do a gearbox right here, so we can uh, come this direction. And then we'll have the other one coming off of here, like this. Be careful with all of the, I don't want to get, um, Things spawning in here while I'm doing this. All right, and let's go ahead and I'll, before I get the gearbox, I'll just put that in right there like that. Bring this over. And I put the torches right where I need to do that. Okay. And then this one right here. Um, how are we gonna do this one here? I think what we need to do is maybe we go back one more. Hmm. Well, let's drop down here real quick and see if we can get this connected up. So, let's see if we can do this again. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And we're going to connect these with a the belt as well. That. So that way we can make sure that they're spinning in the right direction. Bring this over. A couple gearboxes. Yeah, we'll put a gearbox every junction we can do here. There. That's yeah, it's connected. All right. And I think what we need to do here is we're gonna have a vertical one right here, maybe. It connects over this way. Let's see. Okay. Can't tell if that's okay, it's facing the right direction. Okay, good. And then right here, take that one out. Uh right here is where we're gonna have the uh gearbox that goes this direction like that, and then we can go up here to set up the power and down below to connect to that one right down there. Okay, so uh let's go ahead back down here. Take that out for right now. And let's see, we want this gearbox like that. Shafts coming this. Go. Might actually have to go out this direction just so I can set this whole thing up right. Okay, so what we want is we want regular old gearbox here like that. Okay. And then we want a shaft coming down here like that. And then we want a vertical gearbox here. Like that. Okay, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, okay, let's connect that one right there. All right, so everything is connected. Um, the problem is going to be if these things are not spinning the right direction, we'll have to switch things around. Uh, but that is something that we can fix quite easily. Now we need to make the power source. So I think, oh, there's one more thing that we have to do. We have to connect the, where the encased fan is going to go. So let's bring this over. That's going to be the lava. This is going to be the encased fan right there. Um, let's see if I can jump up here. All right, perfect. Go. Put you up here like this. All right. I'm gonna need to drop this down here. I have two more gearboxes. It looks like. Okay. 
think what we want to do is we want to actually have the windmill uh, kind of come off of this right here. And yeah, we, so we want the back of it, we want the bearing to be like right in here. So we're going to get a, another block. Uh, let's get, um, just get the, the wood in here real quick. Now let's do the windmill bearing. Yeah, like that. All right. And that'll spin right there. Okay. And now we just need to connect all of the, the windmill, um, the, the sail frames all the way around. I think actually we'll do the white ones in the middle, uh, going each direction. Just off of here. This. Okay. That's, uh, 1500. Uh, do we want to go a little bit bigger? I want to go a little bit bigger, actually. So, although that's probably going to be enough to spin all these things. I think what we should do is maybe just hook it up and see if it works. Okay, there we go. We chain these together. That should speed it up a little bit. And let's see what happens to see if we break it. Okay, let's go check out the rotation of everything. Those aren't spinning. Those are going the wrong direction. Why isn't that one going up? Ah, it's not connected. That's why. All right, we can fix that really quickly. Okay. Let's see what direction everything is spinning. Could be that everything is going 100% the wrong direction. <laughs> yep, everything is going the wrong direction. So that means I can figure out where in this line I could add another thing. Huh. Maybe right here? If I had another gearbox right here? Oh, let's try it. Okay, that's going up. Those are going in. That one's heading towards me. Okay, that looks like it's working. Um, is that going to be fast enough, you think? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. we got to test this thing out. So, I think... What we probably want to do is turn this off first and then go in and, and get all those uh well actually oh and look at that that's actually it blowing the right direction too i even forgot to look at the fan okay now the moment of truth let's go ahead and remove some of these lights and see what happens uh this is this could be bad Okay, all the torches, yep. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and turn the lights off and let's go ahead and turn this on and see what happens. Um, okay, that might be a little bit too powerful. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit too powerful. <laughs> We're not going to get any XP that way. Is this working, though? Okay, that's pushing them all in here. Going up here. They're getting blasted. I guess if I hit them when they're on fire, it's fine. Okay, so it appears to be the problem is this will only push one skeleton off at a time. So it doesn't really work well with this. The mechanical belts are moving really well. Yep. Even when they're facing the wrong direction. Let's see what happens. As long as there's one guy down there, the other ones get stuck and die because of the flames. And if I did, I could turn that off and do one at a time. But um, it defeats the purpose. So, hmm. Okay, and here we go. All right, let's uh, turn this back on real quick and see how we're doing. Okay, click on it. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. The problem is fixed. 
So, uh, Turtle and um, Llama came over yesterday, and they looked at it, and they said, all you need to do is drop it down a couple, because the hitbox of the skeletons was blocking the next one from coming down. Uh, so as long as they can clear that and drop over the edge, no problem at all. So um, I went ahead and put the lava back in there, and that seems to be working okay. Uh, it still takes a couple hits for most of them because of the armor, uh, but it's a lot less than uh, normally, like if we uh, just had them just drop down. So that works out pretty good. And, you know, I'll, over time, I think I'll make improvements to the skeleton farm. Uh, there's still a little things that I want to change. So, like, for example, right here, this is kind of a mess. Um, we can put, we can simplify this a lot. And so I think I'll be working on simplifying this whole design in the future, uh, even speeding it up. The other thing I noticed is, and I have a full inventory here. Uh, the other thing I noticed was that skeletons are getting stuck sometimes in between the conveyor belt lines. So Llama suggested using fans to blow them. Um, I, we may switch to do that. I think that might be something that would work better. I also think maybe cranking up the speed will help out too. But uh, for the most part, it seems to be working pretty, pretty well. So he's coming here and as you can tell, I'm already over 30 levels. And we got a uh, bunch of loot down here now. So things are looking up. I'll be able to do some enchantments, finally get a bow to work with here. Um, yeah, so I won't die as much. It's kind of tight in here, but uh, that brings us to the end of today's video. And I think I'm going to switch to this so I don't destroy the wall when I'm doing that. <laughs> uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and like to see more from the Dad's Guide in the future, you know what to do. Click that like button, smash the subscribe button, and press that notification bell. So next time, I think we are going to uh, work on advancing our game and do some of the more advanced contraptions and things that we can do to uh you know not have so many cogwheels spinning like this until next time bye for now